I'm Captain Guthrie. This is Lieutenant Ames, the 25th Cavalry, Army of the Confederacy. How do you do, Captain? What is the nature of your visit? You might prefer to discuss that in private. This way. this utterly abominable. My orders are to return to Richmond with the five children. You're using these children as pawns. They've done nothing. They've all made one serious mistake. And what is that, Crater? Being born to extremely wealthy northern families. You're going to hold them for ransom? A million dollars worth. But that... That's kidnapping! Call it what you like, ma'am. Take your men and leave these premises immediately, Captain. You get those children ready to travel. We leave here in an hour. Prepare a bag for yourself. You'll be going with us. You'll get no ransom for me, Captain. My men aren't going to wet nurse a bunch of spoiled Yankee whelps. I'll leave that to you. 
You can't bully me, Captain. Bring her along, Lieutenant. Yes, sir. Ma'am. Don't you dare touch me, young man. You have my permission to use reasonable force. I will not budge from this chair. <laughs> Don't know. And don't you be calling me, hey, now get in that house and fetch your stuff like you was told. I'm not taking one step till someone tells me what this is all about. Oh, you ain't. Now, well, we'll hey, see about that. Hey, put me down. What's a big idea? You ever read the articles of war? No. Well, you can't do this. <laughs> What is this, Sergeant Ben? Well, sir, he was giving me a mouthful of sass. Just put the boy down, Sergeant. Did you little jail? Put me down and that's an order. Yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. All I want to know is where you're taking us. Why, you're on your way home, son. Yeah. Hey, you hear that? What's going on? This is cool. That was real smart, Lieutenant Ames, sir. Just hope I'm smart enough to think of something when they find out the truth. Well, now, y'all need to take good care of some of I will. Will you send me a letter? Sure. As soon as I learn how to write. No room for all that junk, boy. I have to have my books with me. Get rid of them. Lieutenant! I said you to take all my bare necessities. What's the matter, boy? Don't you understand English? Get rid of those books. Uh, but I need them. I'm still... I tell you to do something, boy. Do it. You, uh, plan on being a doctor, son? I have to be. How's that? You know, we've been doctors in my family for three generations. I understand. We'll see if we can't find a place on the wagon for these books. going to be court-martialed because I am going to protest this action if I have to take it to General Beauregard himself. This is not only That's illegal, enough. it is the most inhumane. Uh, very well, I shall be silent. Now you're using your head, ma'am. Lieutenant, let's mount up and move out of here. Yes, sir. All right, let's mount up. We're moving out. Forward! Ho! Wander, we'll be through here in a minute or two. Move those tires! But, Captain, I'm afraid you don't understand. Our quarters are just up ahead. They can get out there. 
Those are Yankee prisoners. Get used to them. You see them working all over the compound. Why do they have to have so many guards? Well, to keep them escaping, of course. You see, those are northern blacks. They're not too keen on work. Hey, boy, get back to work. Now, come on, this ain't no holiday. Get you back into it. don't expect the girls and the boys to share the same room. Ma'am. Now, by rights, these brats should be outside in those tents and my men should be in here. You'd be thankful I'm giving you a roof over your heads. Colonel Rankin, he approved, and that's as far as it went. They should have been informed, sir. Suppose the high command disapproves. Don't you understand, man? They don't want to know anything about this. They have to be able to deny any knowledge of this. Prisoner got away. A black. Wingy for sure, Captain. Get a detail and go after him. Take the dogs. Call him back, Taggart. Make an example of him. Yes, sir. <laughs> See if we didn't have enough trouble. I sure hope we get a quick answer from the parents of those kids. Amen. Just my luck to ride back and say I can keep them. <laughs>
what you call keeping an eye on the children? They're just down by the creek, Lieutenant. And the old battle axe is with them. No, she's not. Sorry, ma'am. I didn't mean that the way it sounded. Any news about the ransom money, Lieutenant? None, I'm afraid, Miss Carlyle. But it's been almost ten days. Surely seems like time enough. Oh, we're probably here any day now. How are the children doing? They're becoming more skittish every day. If I hadn't insisted on these little outings, I couldn't vouch for their behavior. Well, I think the Army of the Confederacy can handle the situation. I wonder, Lieutenant. I truly wonder. Naomi would like to play hide-and-seek. Oh, no. Oh, oh, please, Miss Carlyle. This child's needs must be met, too. Now, who's going to be it? Not it, not, not it, not it. Too late, you're it. OK, count to 100 by fives. By fives? She's only just learning to count by ones. Just count to 20, dear. Tell me when. Now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, thirteen, sixteen, twenty. Ready or not, here I come. find anyone. We well, didn't look hard enough. Come on, Miss Carlisle's calling. Are you all right? Sure. Well, then, come on. I've 
What's this water for? You'll see. Hey, if this is some kind of a joke. Didn't I swear and cross my heart? Uh, how much further? Right there. Light it. With what? What else, silly? Listen, kid, just because you're only five, don't take advantage. Why'd you pick me anyway? You're the only one that's kind of scaredy cat. Who's that? We've got to help him. Give him the water, Timmy. You give it to him. You are a scaredy cat, just like the rest. be the man that they were looking for with the dogs. Speak up, boy. Oh, uh, yes, sir. Um, this afternoon, uh, some soldiers with some dogs. They were looking for someone down by the creek. I'm too smart for a bunch of old hound dogs. I backtracked that creek five times before I hid in here. Well, what you gonna do now? I don't know. Had a mighty good escape plan all worked out. I didn't figure on getting shot. Uh, maybe I can find your doctor. Boy, if you call a doctor within 500 miles of here, they'll be nailing me to the side of this barn. I don't guess there's any need to ask you if you could dig a bullet out of my back. Me? Miss Carla, I can do it. Oh, no. She can do anything. Not this, she can't. Only one person I know could. Maybe. You all right, Henry? I'll be all right. How is it? Looks like it's infected. That's how come I got the fever. Can you take the bullet out? Me? No, sir. That'll take a real operation. Only a doctor. The can... bullet don't come out soon. This fever's gonna kill me. But I don't know how. I'd do it myself, only. The bullet picked a mighty inconsiderate spot. There's no way I can reach back there. Henry, you gotta do it. Suppose I kill him. Son, just try your best. Don't go right. No, I won't hold it against you. All right? All right. Now, here's what you need. What do you want around here, boy? Uh, can I have some water? I ain't got nothing better to do than to stand around here watering Yankee tadpoles. Come on, come on, come on. I didn't hear no thank you. Don't they teach you boys no manners? <laughs> Captain will have a blue fit. Serves them right, the selfish pig. Maybe. We took a little off of each sheet, you wouldn't notice. Hey, that's a good idea. Maybe you won't miss the shirt either.
took you so long? You haven't got all night. I had to wait till Naomi fell asleep. She thinks this is all some kind of a game or something. The girls always make trouble. They also make the best nurses, right? I hope so. Put the lamp on the table. I sure wish we had some hot water. Hot water is the only way to keep the infection away, and I already got that. Let's get to it. Mr. Zakara, if you could roll over just a little more on your side. Just like that. That's good. Uh, it's gonna hurt, sir. Expect it will. Son, ever use a knife on a man before? No, sir. But I once dissected a frog. Dead or alive? Dead. Well, just to remember, I'm alive and kicking. And I plan to be that way for a long time to come. Go to it. his wrist in Nora's head. Jessica. Jessica. Oh, boy. Now, what do you mean you didn't notice? Well, Cap, my head, the boy washed them sheets the same as usual, and he hung them out there to dry. Same as usual. And same as usual... The same as usual, the same as... Sergeant! Does this sheet look the same as usual? Mm -hmm. No, sir. Parents, those 
kids got to wait until two weeks to find out how they are. It's good news. Courier's on his way to make sure the children are all right. Well, that's only natural. And he's empowered to negotiate for their return. When does he arrive? In three days. Frankly, sir, I'm relieved. <laughs> You're relieved. I tell you, Ames, another week with those confounded imps not have gone stark raving crazy. There's no sense in taking chances at this stage of the game. Uh, put on extra guards. Yes, sir. Hang on! Hang on! Yes, sir. I'm not that school marm and a brood, and I'll give them the bad news. They're going home. <laughs> yes, sir. They're going home. I know you're all excited about the good news, but it's very, very late. When do you think we'll be leaving? Well, if all goes well, you should all be in your respective homes by this time next week. Next week? Isn't that wonderful, Naomi? Yeah. I just hope he gets better by then. You hope who gets better? Oh, you know this child. She lives in a world of make-believe. I see. Well, it's time we were all off to dreamland. Now, let's see who gets to sleep first. Let us go home? That's the whole idea. Suppose that one of us is gone when the courier gets here. And then I guess our folks won't pay the ransom. Now you're catching on. If they don't pay it, the brothers won't get it. See? Well, not necessarily. They might pay it to get four of us back. Huh? You think so? How about three? Why? Who else is going with you? You. What? You scared? Me? Well, not exactly. Well, I'm not gonna ask you twice. I'll make up your mind. I made my mind. I'm not going. Aw, oh, come on. See, you're asking me twice. Okay, stay here and help the reps. <laughs>
Simmer down, ma'am. Simmer down. Probably just another one of their pranks. Captain, the safety of those children is your responsibility. I want that boy found immediately. Sergeant, get your carcass in here! Ma'am! I am truly sick of your high and mighty attitude. That boy would be in his bed right now if you'd have been doing your job. <gasps> yes, sir? One of the kids is missing from Rouse, the lieutenant, telling to organize a search party. Get moving. Yes, sir. Oh, sir! Bring them dogs up here! for getting shot in the back, either. You telling me I'm beholden to you? I'm telling you that we've been nursing Fenia for all this time. And now I'm going with you. All right. I'll take you as far as the railroad tunnel. But I gotta go all the way north. After the tunnel, you're on your own. All right, as far as the railroad tunnel. Let's go. With all the reds you've stirred up, we're sitting right here. With this smell? Safest place I know. <laughs> that courier from Washington gets here and finds one of those kids missing. You know what's going to happen, don't you? Yes, sir. Heads are going to roll. His headquarters going to find out about this whether they want to or not. Right. Heads are going to roll. And mine's at the top of the list. And yours is second. Sir, I had nothing to do with it. You knew about it, mister. Lieutenant, what I'm telling you is, you find that boy. Yeah! Looks like they lost the scent. You know one scent they ain't lost. Woo! Take care of him. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Gonna operate on him? Let me go! 
Everybody lights the cry, baby. Son. You're going to be one fine Dr. Trapper. Hold on. If you don't hold real tight. Get up. sooner than you think. Ah, looks 
like we done it, boy. Well, here's where I'm going to leave you. What do you mean? Well, see, we made a deal. He only promised to get us through the tunnel. But we've got to Sorry, get to miss, the... i got to move fast. There's a rope waiting for me if I stay around here. You understand, don't you? Yes, sir. Well, take care. You hear? <laughs> This way. Let's go. Can't we rest a little longer? Nope. Can't let him get too far ahead. <sighs> Isn't he ever gonna slow down? I sure hope so. Get got a full day's late on it. Yes, sir, and if we lame up a horse, they'll have even more time. Lieutenant, you save your breath for the climb. <laughs> No food, no money, no work. So you might just as well move on. Uh, we can chop that wood for you. Been chopping my own wood for 60 years. If you could just spare us some bread. 
got nothing to spare now. Now go on, get, will you? Or I'll, I'll sick my dog on you. Still holding out, Zach. Your bad luck. There's no doubt about it. A pack of raven wolves couldn't have picked them bones cleaner. That's right. I'm going. No, 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 sir. No way in the world I'm going to strap myself down with a bunch of kids. Alone and fast. It's the only way to travel. Besides, I don't owe you nothing. Not a thing, yeah? You don't? I figure I cancel that debt when I got you through the tunnel. As far as I'm concerned, we're even. But you can't go. Just watch me. Hey, wait. You can't leave us. It's a old Indian custom. Once you save a person's life, uh, you're responsible for that person forever. Take a good look at me, boy. Do I look like an Indian to you? Do you know how much money you could get for delivering us north? She's right. You could be very rich. Well, I'd rather be poor and alive. Besides, I'm used to being both. Well, you can get 100,000. You know, maybe even two. The Rebs are asking for a million. Yes, sir, in gold. Boy, you're only telling me you're a million dollars worth of trouble. But I thank you for the offer just the same. Take care, yeah? Mr. Zechariah, you take care. You hear? Well, the moon's slipping away. I suppose I can't make much headway after dark. Well, I might as well just stay here for the night. Million dollars, huh? They camped here last night, Captain. Looks like they still got quite a lead on us. All the luck. Another 24 hours, this whole mess is gonna blow sky high. Let's move on. Sir, the men and the horses are exhausted. Couldn't we rest for just 10 minutes? You're pretty calm and collected, aren't you, for a man who's looking straight at a court-martial, maybe a few years in a stockade? Move out! Be sure and take the nice, soft ones, Nanny. These are too hard. Come on, let's go to another bush. Take the little one and go pick some more berries. All right, we'll see what we can salvage from around here. Do, do we have to? If you're gonna become a doctor, you better get used to seeing dead bodies. Yeah, well, somebody's gotta stand watch. Henry, you keep a lookout for rebels. 
Take the slickers and blankets. And see if they got any water or food. Food? Jerky, salt pork, or anything that ain't gone bad. But, but... They're oh. dead, son. We need the food more than they do. All right. Let's go. They're here, all right. Not too long ago, Captain. They ought to be in our hands by morning. Move out. scared. It's just natural to want to cry. No, I didn't say I was scared. Anybody who says he ain't scared when there's danger is either a fool or a liar. How come I never see you cry? Well, I'll tell you why. See, the tear wells is down near the feet and... The what? Tear wells. And when I get scared, it takes a powerful long time to draw tears from the well because of my size. Now, if I was six inches shorter, I'd probably be crying all the time. Don't be ridiculous. All the further the tears have to travel, so my nasal acrylic will glance to the eyes. <laughs> That's the trouble with you, Dr. Folk. You a bunch of know-it-alls. <laughs> I'll tell you something, son. When you dug that bullet out of my back, you showed you had more guts than a lot of grown-ups I know. You, you think so? Sure. Come on. Let's get some shut eye. Just a little exhaustion complicated by hunger. Is that what you think, Doc? Sure. Well, I figure she needs a real doctor, a warm bed, and medicine. He's right. How far away from our lines? 
too far. I'll have to see what I can muster up. Uh, will you come back? Don't I always? with an escaped slave. Lord, have mercy. A kidnapping, huh? Any man who'll do that to a child deserves eternal damnation, I said. Anyways, an unarmed come this way. There's reward for information on their whereabouts. What they all done? You hear about him, you report it to the sheriff. You know where to find us. All right, come on, come on. Get up. Let's get a move on. Come on. There's a farmhouse down the road just a little ways. Come on. Let's get up. Who's out there? What do you want? Please. Please help us. Naomi here is awful sick. Lord of creation. You're them kids' armies, honey. Will you just take yourselves on out of here now? We got trouble enough without inviting further. Go! Please help us, she's really sick. You hear me? Go, get. Come on, get in the house. Quick now. Come on. Come on. Ooh. Hey, don't be so grumpy, dog. You're nice and dry. Come on, move over. Two drinks per man. Anyone in here come across the runaway black? Travel him with a bunch of kids. As reward. What do you call a reward, Cap? Hundred dollars a head. Now that's half a man. Well, Captain, for that kind of money, you couldn't get us to drink water and drown time. <laughs> What's your name, mister? Clevin. Luke Clevin. And he's here, my man. We're conscriptors. I figured as much. Conscriptors only getting $50 a head for deserters. A hundred dollars a head's a fair price. You're telling me this black you're after is a deserter? He's a runaway slave. But he ain't no deserter. And those youngins, I mean, uh, how many you say they was? Five. The political wards of the Confederacy. Must be they're awful important if you're out looking for them. Seems to me like the Confederacy could come up with a lot more money than a hundred dollars a head. Maybe. Say a thousand dollars a head. You're crazy, mister. <laughs> That's right. But who but a crazy man to go out on a night like this, Captain? It's raining bullfrogs. Five hundred. I'll whip that deal. Before we lost that trail in the rain, they were about three hours ahead of us. They're going to be trying to cross over the Union lines. They got to be stopped. That's our speciality, Captain. 
Come on, boys. There's just one thing, Clevin. Yeah. I want them all alive. What about Black? I'll take him any way I can get him. Biscuits and honey, Mr. Zachariah. Got you some pork, too. How's the little one? Still feverish. Henry says no way can she travel. Well, every minute we stay here, we come closer to getting caught. Listen, we talked it over and we decided. With the captain so close, you've just got to go on. But we can't leave Naomi. I see. If we get caught, they won't harm us. But if anything ever happened to you, we'd never be able to forgive ourselves. That's a mighty pretty speech, young lady. Mind you, if there was any other way, I... I have to get back to the house. Thank you for the grub. That should be thanking you, Mr. Zachariah. You call yourself a watchdog. Yeah. They've been here all right, and stuff's still wet. Gotta be around here somewhere, sir. Come on. Got him. Looks like we done found ourselves gold mine, don't it, fellas? <laughs> Where's that black's been traveling with you? He's gone. What do you men want in here? Get out of my house! We'll get where we're taking these kids with us. You can't. Well, the one back there is terrible sick. All right, check that ring. Who the barn? The end of the back of the house. Lady, get these kids ready to travel. Well, what about the little one? That ain't no problem of mine. And I'll tell you something else, lady. You done got yourself in a mess of trouble hiding out a bunch of fugitives like this. Hey, Luke, she, she weren't lying. Th there's a little girl out there burning up with fever. How bad is she, lady? You move her now. You may have to answer for the child's life. Might not set too good with the captain, Luke. I, I mean, if something happens to one, they might not pay us for the rest. Oh, that's good thinking, I, considering your handicap. Now, what's her next move, Mr. P-Brain? I don't rightly know. Sit here and wait, I reckon. No, we don't. If we can't take these squirts to the captain, you're going to bring the captain to us. Get gone. I don't even know where to stop. You just find out. him and fetch him here. And tell him to bring money. Hey, wait a minute. Let us go and we'll pay you. Well, our folks are rich. Are you? How much money you got on you, boy? You mean in my pocket? Yeah, cash money. None. Then you just run out of conversation, boy. Get gone. Hey, wait a minute. Tell that Captain Price kids it's gone up. Hey, wait, wait, wait a minute. Hold your fire. I'm one of the conscriptors. Captain, I've been dogging you fellas all over the place. We found them kids you've been looking for. Why didn't you bring them? 
Couple of reasons. First off, Luke says to tell you they gonna cost you two thousand apiece. We agreed on five hundred. Captain, there's a war going on. Dollar don't buy what it used to. Lieutenant, have the men break camp. Where you think you're going? Give that baby a little nourishment. If that's any affair of yours. Go grind the horses. Go grind the horses. Oh, Luke, I'm tired. Yeah. You and my gonna have to I'm go going when I'm going. y'all and there's one less of you. Drop it, boy. Drop it if she gets it. Now put both the hands on the table. Bushwhack me, right, boy? Oh. Get up, boy. I want you to see this coming. Well, I guess you're just gonna have to miss all the fun. No, 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 no,
Mr. Zachariah? You all right? Yeah, I got something of a headache, but otherwise, I'm just fine. Just fine. Fever's broken. Be sweet. Bye. You be good. You keep her off the wet ground now, you hear? Oh, yes, ma'am. I'll carry her all the way. I want to thank you for what you've done. Well, you take care now, yeah? God bless you. Thank you. tried for helping that prisoner escape, maybe hang. Which one of them was the prisoner, Captain? The little girl? Or maybe that wisp of a boy with the glasses? That black was a Union soldier captured at Manassas. Then how come he escaped from a chain gang in Richmond? That how we treat our captured prisoners? That is army business, ma'am. Well, it's mine too, Captain. My husband died in a Yankee prison camp. My oldest boy, he's a prisoner of the Yanks right now. I hope and pray somebody's taking good care of him. Just like I tried my best to do for those poor children. A sorry lot you are, letting yourselves get whipped by a black and a handful of whelps. Come on, Lieutenant, let's move out. Yes, sir. Hold on now. What about our pay? We found them kids. And let them get away. Well, you'll never track them less than we help you. Huh. With a half-hour start? They got to cross the Shenandoah to head north. And there's only one place within 20 miles of him. They can do that. You know where that is, Captain, sir? All right, mount up. 2,000 ahead? Yes. Yes, mount up. Come on, boys, let's go. Move out, Lieutenant. <laughs> I don't miss my guess. It's the Shenandoah. Well, then we must be close to home. We sure must be, boy. Somewhere out there is the whole darn Union Army. Look! There's dust. It must be the ribs. We got any money? For what? We got to get ourselves across that river. Morning, Massa. How much would you be charging to ride this fine boat of yours across this here river? Nickel ahead for children. Who do you belong to, boy? Oh, oh, this here girl's daddy, sir. Is that a fat girl? Oh, yes, so. Uh, my pappy's had old Zachariah here since he's just yay high. Your brothers and sisters? Yes, no, sir. No, sir. Boy, don't you speak till I looks at you. You is or you ain't all kin. Oh, what kin, all right. Everyone that ain't a brother or sister's a cousin. We just had enough secret Grandma Johnson. They say she ain't got very long to live with. Her last wish was see all of us. You can go ahead and cross, but you better teach us black of yours his place. Zachariah? Daddy's gonna hear about this, and you could be sure it's gonna take the whip to your no good bottom. Come along, children. Your daddy's gonna whip my bottom, is he? Just don't get too carried away, young lady. Yes, sir. Hold on there. Look like you got some more passengers. Hold your 
get themselves killed. As soon as that ferry hits them rapids, she'll bust up like a matchbox. Just another mouth to feed all the way back to Richmond. I can lighten your load with just one bullet. I said hold it. There's the beat, Captain. Delivered as promised. One, two, three, four, five, six. Times two, which if I recollect my arithmetic is twelve thousand dollars. You pass and we'll clear out. Captain! Yankee patrol! Coming this way! Everybody take cover. Get those horses out of sight. Move it, boy. Ames, get those kids into the bushes. Let's go. Move it, boy. Quick, quick, quick. Come on, come on. Get in. of years, as sharp as it looks. Get over by him. may prove to be more trouble than he's worth. Get a rope. Captain, don't do it! I promise we'll do anything! That man's an escaped prisoner. You know, of course, this whole thing could backfire. The story must already be out. All the Northern papers need is to get a hold the of the story. The devil with the North and their papers, they're our enemies. And so are traitors in our own ranks. Are you accusing me, sir? Don't confuse plain humanity with treason. One more word out of you and I'll haul your carcass up before a court-martial. Do it! For God's sakes, at least 
must have the children taken away. No. Let them see what the fine authority leads to, Lieutenant. Please don't hang him. Stop it! Please! Make peace with your God. I've tried to make my peace with him every day of my life. You'll be expecting me. All right, Clem. Where did that come from? Maybe a few inches taller than I was this morning. <laughs> <laughs> figure you made enough trouble for me. I was just finding you. But I gotta get back to my regiment, you see? What about the money? The reward we promised you? Yeah, you sure earned it. I didn't do it for the money. I did it for two reasons. One, like you say, I had no choice. The other, well, that's something you can't calculate in dollars. What's that, Mr. Zechariah? Well, it's... But seeing you youngsters being tried and found not wanted, bearing up under the worst kind of trials. Not only bearing up, but going beyond. Just to help a stranger. Mr. Zachariah, not a stranger. Another human being. And a friend. We'll never forget you. Thanks, son. Well, so long. Mr. Zachariah. Take care. You hear? 